blessed to have some really beautiful prints of artwork here in the rectory at St. Hyacinth. So this is the School of Athens, painted by Raphael, the painter, not the Ninja Turtle. It's found in the Vatican, it shows philosophers debating. In the Vatican, opposite the School of Athens, is this painting called The Disputation of the Most Holy Sacrament. On another wall in the Vatican, we have a nice, lovely print of it here in our rectory. We also have this really striking print of a painting by Caravaggio uh, called The Taking of Christ, when Jesus is betrayed by Judas. Right? Beautiful, beautiful painting. We got this cool little icon of the nativity, of the Christmas scene. Just open the doors right there. Beautiful. In our dining room, we have this print of the Last Supper as painted by Fra Angelico. And I was given by a friend a print of this beautiful painting done by a young woman who lives in the Quad Cities by the name of Gabriella Schott. And it's a painting of Philip Neri and Our Lady. Now, all these paintings uh, are beautiful. I think it's so important that we have sacred art around us. The beauty of art calls forth something within us, right? And we're meant to rest our eyes on it, not just to look at it and sort of be done with it, but to stop, to let our gaze rest upon it, to soak it in. All great artwork uh, has, has things that we only notice over time, you can't just take in the whole thing in a glance, right? Just like you can't read a great novel just in one short little sitting. It's the same with these beautiful paintings. You got to sit and stare at them and gaze upon them day after day and let them speak to us, right? There's so much beautiful art. I hope that you find some to, to put in your home. There's a lot of prints of beautiful artwork that are available really relatively inexpensively. And I hope that sacred art uh, can help us, can be another prayer experience for us, a contemplative prayer experience where we're just sitting and gazing and receiving what the Lord might want to speak to us through this beauty.